Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In my previous video, I showed you Waydroid, an Android emulator on Linux on my Racha Rock 5B with the ARM Rock chip RK3588. Now, there was someone in the comments and he said it's not working with kernel 6.1, the rock chip fender kernel. I also tested with Armion with kernel 6.1, rock chip fender kernel. Didn't work either. So, yeah, I'll try to see if I can find the cause and perhaps also if there is a fix for it. But since I was still busy with Waydroid, I thought, let's try to install the Google Apps. So when you install Waydroid, so I'm on Armbian, which is Ubuntu based. So you can just follow these instructions. And once it's installed, then you can start Waydroid. Um, but the thing is, is that once it's initialized, the initialization window doesn't pop up again. So the first time you start Waydroid, uh, just from the icon, then you get a pop-up like this, and then you can choose between vanilla and Google Apps. So if you want to have the Google Apps, then you just choose G Apps. So, but I already installed it, initialized it. And then I thought like, well, I can remove it and go through the installation again, but that's not necessary. So from the command line, you can start the initialization again and then just add this G apps and then you get the Google applications installed. But that's only half of the story because then you run into the Google Play certification. So um, yeah, the Android image, uh, let's just say, is not certified for use with Google, uh, but you can certify it yourself and then just add it to your Google account, or perhaps if you don't have a Google account, perhaps you know someone else with a Google account and that wants to help you. So you need to start the Waydroid shell. Uh, let's see. Now I think you need to start Waydroid. Okay, so you can see Google Play Store is installed and it's also working because I already went through that procedure. Uh, so let's see if we can start the Waydroid shell. Now we have the shell and then you need to copy this whole line and execute it and then you get a certain number so let's see yeah yeah i removed some of the numbers and um, just in case someone you never know wants to be funny with uh, 
the Android ID that I used, so to avoid any funny things. Uh, so but you can see that it's quite a long number. And once you have that number, then you can go here. Well, you need to uh, be signed in to your Google account, and then you can add that Android ID. And once that is done, um, yeah, it might take a couple of minutes, let's just say it might even take up to 10, 15 minutes, something like that, before it gets activated. But after that, it starts working. So, yeah, in my previous video, I also said that, um, yeah, we don't, or at least I don't have uh, a fully working OpenGL and Vulkan at the moment, although I did see a post today that uh, Collabora uh, says that the Vulkan driver, uh, I think with MISA 25.2, is a Vulkan 1.2 compliant. So that's also something that I'm going to have a look at. Um, yeah, so for instance, uh, I tried uh, Asphalt Racing, I tried Roblox, but uh, they don't want to start, probably because of issues with the uh, graphics driver. So you see that it just crashes. But for instance, if we try something relatively simple. Then you can see that you can get it working. So, okay. So, that's the trick with the Google Apps. Um, yeah, apart from the issues with the graphics drivers at the moment, um, it's also possible that some applications or games that they don't want to start, um, because this is not like a fully certified Android device, uh, and yeah, you might have uh, root privileges and also perhaps things like the white fine certification, uh, digital rights management. Well, they call it digital rights, but it's more like blocking your rights. Uh, so for instance, like um, streaming services that some of them, they might not work at all. Uh, some others, they might only work in low resolutions. So there, there's still uh, some limitations, but the Google apps themselves, you can get them working with Waydroid. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.